She's a very funny uh, Kamara White coming out here. She is pray going out here, still doing her thing, man. Y'all make it loud. Get real loud for Kamara White. They got me out here pregnant and shit. Talking about Netflix is going to be here. Where the fuck is Netflix at? Because this don't look like Netflix. Y'all is lying. The fuck? I know what Netflix supposed to look like. Got me out here. You feel me? They ain't got no pregnancy etiquette. I should piss all over this stage. These niggas is lying. God damn it. Shit. I almost smoked three niggas blunts. You feel me? Like, I ain't supposed to be in this type of environment, nigga. And Netflix ain't really here. They ain't even playing a Netflix movie in the tough fucking TV. Whatever. Hate these niggas. That's why y'all gotta wear dresses to get on now. Aha, uh -huh, bitch. Um, I'm not gonna feel sorry for y'all. They didn't feel sorry for us, nigga. When we had to suck dick. So, now that y'all gotta do it, woman up, nigga. Uh, suck that dick. We had to do it. Shit. My brother talking about people touching him. Terry Crews, big ass. Whoop his ass. The fuck. Y'all didn't feel sorry for us when they was touching us, and we helpless and defenseless. This nigga pop locking with motherfucking muscles, talking about, oh my God, nigga, fuck you. <laughs> the fuck? Shit. Me too, nigga. That's why they named it that, nigga. The fuck? Fuck this nigga. I'm sick of these niggas. It's crazy. Everybody like. Because black people tell you, y'all scandalous as fuck. <laughs> black people are like, ooh, your baby alert. Um. <laughs> Look at that baby just looking around. Just. Oh my God, this baby, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the fuck, fuck y'all. Don't nobody never want to watch it. <laughs> Cute baby, everybody want to watch it. Bring me the baby, when that baby ugly, don't nobody call you. This motherfucker gonna have on sunglasses every time you see him if he ugly. <laughs> this nigga gonna wear sunglasses so much when he get older, he gonna go get his own sunglasses. Like, I forgot my sunglasses, mommy good, nigga. Go get him with your ugly ass. Uh. Oh, shit. It's hard enough having stepkids. I got to stand on business, you know? <laughs> Just date niggas with kids, bitch. Don't have no more. Because once you tie them, you can be like, I don't love y'all no more. Bye. I don't care. I'm not your mama. You know what I'm saying? Shit. I got to buy this motherfucker Jordans. I got to care. This is... I don't know. I want to drop this motherfucker off at the firehouse. Um. <laughs> That's why they made that rule, because... <laughs> <laughs> I feel crazy. My daughter, 23. He caught, thank you, help me shoot this nigga. You feel me? I was all the way done. My daughter like, so you just gonna have your own grandkids? Mama, fuck you, bitch. Fuck you. You better not come home with no baby. I'm busy, ho. Fuck you. I hate that bitch. Don't laugh at her. She, she always talking shit. <laughs> we got the beautiful, funny, and talented Kamira White. Welcome to Slick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, welcome to Slick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know you're from LA, but we want to talk about your upbringing. So okay. can you can you tell us about that and and kind of tell us uh, how you from LA without telling us how you from LA? Shit, um, <laughs> I grew up in Gardena. California. Okay, I could dig it. I went to Sarah. Okay, oh, shout out okay. Sarah. I got I got a uh, one of my boys, Pooh Jetter. He went to Sarah yeah. too. Shout out basketball, my Sarah boy. is a. That's the first place I got pregnant. Sarah is a. Whoa. <laughs> Sarah is an athletic school. Okay, okay. The football team, the best. Like, them niggas is big. They recruit them. Yeah. And you know, I'm shit. I'm a big girl, so I know I never seen niggas big as me. Like they bigger yeah. than me. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, okay, there go my baby daddy right there. <laughs> In that time, who inspired you? Like, who was the funniest of your family then? My dad. My dad. And then it's crazy because my dad didn't want me to be a comedian, but he the funniest one. Mm -hmm. And I get it from him. But he, don't, you know, he wanted me to be, I was, when I started working and shit, I was in the medical field. So he wanted me to go ahead and be a registered nurse. So when I started doing comedy, he'd be like, come here, you ain't no motherfucking Richard Pryor. Your ass need to go. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's how he is. He talks so much shit. So I really got it from him. I really got that shit from him. Did you win him over? The comedy? Nah, nah. That nigga went to his grave talking about, I don't know why you doing that damn shit. <laughs> <laughs> 
Like, even when people would recognize me, he'd be like, y'all want to take a picture with her? Well, then he like, well, shit, tell me some jokes then. What the fuck are you saying? I'm like, you know, fuck you, man. I'm talking about your ass. Your crazy motherfucking ass. But I love my dad because my dad, he grew up in a time where it was hard for black men. You know, my daddy was, he had me old. So when he died, he was like 81. So... Mm. You know, he grew up in that era, you know, so he gave it to me hard. Like, he's like, come here, your ass getting too damn big. You know, he would just like, and I'm yeah. like, damn, soften it up. But yeah. it made me have tough skin. I feel like I went through that to go with what I'm going through now. Yeah. Like, I could bag with niggas. Niggas can't hurt my feelings. Like, I, 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 yeah. I'm I, really thick skinned. So yeah. I think, and for comedy, I had to be thick skinned. So I, I applaud him for that. You know what I'm saying? He never was like, come here, you know, huggy, huggy, none of that shit. He was like, come here, I'm going to teach y'all to change the tire. Shit, cause your ass big, you might not have a boyfriend. That's the fuck he used to say. <laughs> like I'm a, t- you ain't no damsel in distress. Your ass, <laughs> get under that hood, and change your oil and shit. Like damn, damn nigga. <laughs> you ain't a damsel in distress. Yeah. You, a def- you a defensive end. <laughs> what the fuck exactly? <laughs> shit, that was crazy. You think having uh, thick skin helps you with? And I don't know how you deal with it. You gotta tell us, but with hecklers in the crowd. I haven't really gotten heckled. I've had people interrupt like the show on their own shit, but people like me. I'm lucky. People Do you like enjoy me. that when they interrupt? Like you feel like, I mean, oh, I, I get like, the improv and get the roast. I might, I might, but you know what I want? What I learned is, especially from being from LA, because you know niggas, you know we from the city. It's yep. a lot of activity. You know we get active out here. Yep. Mm-hmm. So if I do like play with the crowd, I always bring it back to myself. I don't make people feel bad for coming to a comedy show. <laughs> like, you know, a lot of people like to play the dozens and shit, but I'm not going to roast you, talk about you bad in front of your bitch, talk about <laughs> your bitch bad in front of you. Like, I don't do that type of shit because L.A. niggas will jump up. L.A. niggas will fuck you up. You know what I'm saying? It's like, we, we not from a town. Like, this ain't Indianapolis, nigga. This, this is real life out here. Right, right, like, I, right. I, some of the homies ain't got guns pulled on them uh, shows and shit like yeah, that. So, yeah, like, yeah, L.A. No is not the city to be bagging on motherfuckers. Oh, so, yeah. It, it definitely I has happened. That. Like, I, I'll bring it back to myself. It's crazy because the Mexicans been hitting on me. You know, this is how they bitches look. <laughs> Sorry. Sue me. Am I lying? Am I lying? I went and got me a Johnny's pastrami the other day, nigga, to cook like, oh. <laughs> you know, all they bitches stomach hit the ground. They... But I don't care. They love y'all, though. They love y'all. That's what I'm talking about. Fuck around. I probably need a nigga to sell oranges. a lot going on with me but I'm just glad I'm not having no girl because these girls you see my daughter she talks so much shit I remember when I was raising her she was like you know what mommy you just bitter because my daddy didn't want you I said bitch your daddy didn't want you the fuck <laughs> my pussy is good um I got a lot of pictures of us <laughs> before you got here bitch look he took me to Disneyland where your Disneyland pictures at bitch I know you didn't get to go who did he like more? No, I'm... <laughs> as soon as you came, he left, bitch. We was together seven years. This is... Fuck okay, asshole. Don't start laughing at me too hard. I need a step nigga. Don't play with me. You'll be raising this baby. Don't play with me. You look like you know I like to eat too. That's good. Me and my family, that's what we like. All you skinny bitches working out and shit. That... <laughs> These niggas will be in the bed with me, eating cheese toast. I'm telling you, they'll tell you they're vegan and fuck a bitch only eat meat. These niggas lie. <sighs> like y'all did tonight about this being Netflix. I got my family here for no reason. <sighs> I'm like, okay, bitch is getting good. I'm like, no, it's just another sad story. Just a... <sighs> they got lights and shit. Fuck all, they all lying. Where's Baron at? Fuck this shit. <laughs> here, I'm, I got a complaint. Um. <laughs> Where's the supervisor? Cause I'm finna call Netflix on y'all ass. That's what the fuck I'm about to do. <laughs> I, <laughs> these niggas is bootlegging y'all shit. <sighs> anyway, <sighs> that's all the time I'm gonna do. Cause I gotta pee, nigga. The fuck. <laughs> Shut up, Ken. I'm not, I'm not answering your phone call no more. No, all, none of y'all. <laughs> anyway, I love y'all. My name Camille. Y'all follow me on Instagram. You a bad Hey, come here. Your water better not break. We ain't got insurance for that shit. I'm just letting you know. You're going to talk to the supervisor about that. <laughs>